Hey everyone, what's up? Living in a city has both pros and cons. One of those cons is the cost of living in most instances. That's the case with Chicago. The overall cost of living is 10% above the national average. Transportation costs are 25% higher, and the housing market is 29% above the Illinois average. So what if you want to be close to the city but not pay an arm and a leg for the opportunity? You find a cheap suburb to live in. Since most people would also prefer to live in relative safety, I found 10 suburbs where the cost of living and crime rates are below average. So here are 10 of the cheapest Chicago suburbs. Blue Island is home to just under 23,000 people. The overall cost of living is 4% below the national average and housing is 35% below the Illinois average. The median home price is $114,200 compared to the Illinois average of $174,800. For the 46% of the people who rent, they have a median rent of $799 compared to the $925 Illinois average. The crime rates are decent. There were 381 total crimes reported, so the rate is 37% below the national average. The average income for Blue Island, in terms of median household income, as well as earnings by men and women, is below what it should be. The town has a 21.2% poverty rate and an 8.5% unemployment rate, so those issues need to be addressed. However, it's only a 30-minute drive to Chicago, so better jobs can be found if you're willing to drive into the city. Posen is a town of around 6,000 people. 60 years ago, 98% of the population was Polish. There were only four people in the town who weren't white. Around 1990, they started to gain some diversity. The Census Bureau now shows that only 26.8% of the residents are white, 56.4% are Hispanic, and 13.2% are African American. The median home price is $107,400, which puts it at 26% below the national average. Utilities are also more affordable than average. The violent crime rate is 38% below the national average, with only 14 violent crimes reported. The job market, however, is weak in Posen, so 30% of the population live below the poverty line, and the unemployment rate is 10%. So if you don't mind commuting for work, this could be a good choice. Marionette Park is a village of 1800. It was named after developer Joseph Marion, who started the town by building 120 homes in 1943 for returning soldiers and their families. It was intentionally designed to be a bedroom community, so it's only 14 miles south of the loop. The median household income is about $11,000 below the Illinois average, but the median earnings for both men and women are above average. The unemployment rate of 7.3% is above the national and state averages, but the poverty rate is a third of the national rate. The crime in this small town is very low. There were only three violent crimes and 38 property crimes reported in the previous year. The cost of living is 3% below the national average. The housing market is 27% below the average. The median home price is $119,100 and rent averages $890. If you like small town living, check out Marionette Park. McHenry is a town of 27,000. The median home price is 3% lower than the Illinois average at $169,700. The median household income and earnings by both men and women are all above the national averages. The poverty rate is only 5.7% and the pre-pandemic unemployment rate was 4.5%. The crime rate in this town is 52% below the national average with only 48 violent crimes and 288 property crimes reported. This is just an overall decent town to live in. Woodstock is a neat town. The movie Groundhog Day, starring Bill Murray, was filmed there, so every time you see someone walking around Punxsutawney in the movie, that's actually Woodstock. The town can also be seen in the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles in several scenes. Woodstock currently has around 25,000 residents who enjoy a low violent crime rate. It's 75% below the national average. There were only 24 violent crimes reported in the previous year. The cost of living is 4% below the national average, and the median home price of $165,400 is 5% below the national average. The median household income is also 1% higher than the national average, so this is a good pick for middle class people. Moments is a small town of just over 3,000 people. The violent crime rate in this town is 66% below the national average. Only four violent crimes were reported in the previous year, in addition to 45 property crimes. The household income is 13% above the national average, and the cost of living is 6% below the national average. 
The median home price is 17% below the Illinois average at $144,300, and the median rental price is $766. The unemployment rate is average at 5%, and 13.7% of the residents live in poverty, which is better than both the state and national averages. Marengo has 7,400 or so residents. In the previous year, there were only 57 total crimes reported. That is, three violent crimes and 54 property crimes, so the crime rate is 70% below the national average. The median household income is 14% above the national average at $62,796. The unemployment rate is slightly elevated at 6.5%, but the poverty level is at 10.6%, which is below average. The cost of living is 7% below the national average, and the median home price of $149,900 is 16% below the national average. Plano is a town with about 11,600 people living in it. The cost of living is 7% below the national average, and the housing costs are 29% below the Illinois average. The median home price is $124,500. The median rent of $881 is 5% below the Illinois average. The town had a total of 81 crimes reported in the previous year, 9 violent crimes and 72 property crimes. The household median income is 5% below the national average, but the median earnings for women are slightly above average at $26,386. Genoa is a small town of 5,200 people. There were only seven crimes reported in the previous year, so Genoa is safer than 54% of U.S. cities, with a crime rate that is 43% below the national average. The cost of living is 8% below the national average, and the median home price of $142,500 is 18% lower than the Illinois average. The average rent price is $797, compared to the national average of $949. The median household income and the male earnings are below average, but median female earnings of $34,750 are above the national average of $26,250. The unemployment rate is slightly elevated at 6.5%, but the poverty level is below average at 11.4%. 7,400 people call Park City home, and the reason for that is that it's hard to find a cheaper place to live. The median home price is only $27,900. That's 84% less than the Illinois average home price. 54.8% of the residents own their homes. The 45.2% who rent pay a median rent of $798, which is well below the Illinois and national averages. The overall cost of living is 14% below the national average. This town is also reasonably safe. There were only 11 violent crimes and 86 property crimes reported, so Park City is safer than 6% of U.S. cities. The chance of being the victim of a crime is only 1 in 78. If you're looking for cheap and safe, this might be the town for you. If you think I missed a suburb that should be on the list, leave a comment below. If you liked this video, hit the like button, and if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to get more content like this. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I remain stuck in the current field.